All these explosions, I... I mean, seriously. This many? Yeah, they just... No matter what you do, they just do more damage than you can heal for and that I can, you know, a solo dish out. And he just... <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to drop down to the lowest difficulty because you clearly are not meant to do this on your own. It's, um... That's not even the screen I want. It, you know, it could have said, you know, if you go in alone... Fuck me, there's a very easy... Jesus. You know what? Bet I bet on very easy, I, I might even struggle. Let's see how big the di oh okay the, the, yeah that that difference is big. I'm actually okay. I'm you know I'm gonna drop it down to easy, but that you know if you instantly kill him, I'm just curious how this mechanic works because. I shot him, uh, you know, critical, and then I shot him for another critical, and then he turned blue. And I wonder what he does then. Does he just stand there for a bit and does what? Because now those guys didn't aggro, and neither did they. Interesting. I, I'm really, I don't know how that works, but that's just me thinking about how a mechanic works. That's dull. Right, let's... Uh, Give it a shot on easy. Oh, they did aggro. They didn't. Fuck me, I'll play on easy then. For fuck's sake. Whoops. There we go. If that's what it takes, I'm I'm okay with that. I'm really okay with that. Because, you know, I'm not going to spend another two hours here just trying to kill this guy with the Blade of the East. Which looks to be pretty damn awesome, to be honest. Um, but no. No, I won't. Crappy toolbox. It <laughs> seems really out of place for some reason. Um, jalapeno pepper. Kind of hardcore. Um, what? Locks from the other side. Seriously? Locks? This tent flap locks from the other side. Sure, he has the key done, right? No. So I'm not supposed to be hunting for a key. That's for a tenth flap. Jesus Christ, game! How how do they think of that? Seriously? Do they seriously just go well? You know, we need some sort of key to get into the last tent there. Um, really? Nobody goes... It's a tent flap. Just, you know, cut it open with a knife or something. <laughs> That's, that seems extremely weird to me. Yeah, they didn't have anything... Okay, where does my quest point? My quest points out there somewhere. That is unfortuitous. I hope I didn't bug myself the fuck out, to be honest. Seems to be pointing away. Now that is not a good sign. 
Oh, that is not a good sign at all, in fact. Whoa! Jesus. Um... Hi? What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. Um, yeah. Um, I like all of these. Um, help from my allies. Who? The Skirtrons weren't here. That's the only people I have. <laughs> uh, have you seen an entire army of upgraded Skirtrons, General? And, uh, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? <laughs> Hello there, Smiley. Yes, hello. Hello indeed. Guess it ain't no secret how you, uh, I say, can you ask them to put their weapons down? It's just reaching in my coat to give you a cigar. Hmm. I say just friggin' destroy him. That will, um... Uh... You know, both factions have been reduced to nothing. So if anything, there will be lots of little power struggles to gain control of the big area, but, you know, things will be relatively much better with, you know, neither faction having any real uh, power. Um, Securitrons, race NCR from the area. Figured as much. Come on, you sons of bitches, we're ready. You sons of bitches. Yeah, why? Oh, Jesus, fuck. That, uh... Got a lot closer than I, uh, thought it did. You did a super job wrapping things up. And I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but... Well... I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me, um, reprogram my personality. To be a little more assertive, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry, everything will be okay. Now I'll be House. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters, so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be. Off making a few changes, and I, I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. Yes, man, has taken control and so now. The courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended. Quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. He ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken, and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Tabitha and Rhonda went east, through Caesar's land. Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, and proved to be quite popular with children. Though the wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the boomers' display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, 
The followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas's independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. With no cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia in sight, the disgruntled Nightkin left Jacobstown. Without a treatment, their insanity grew. The crazed Nightkin terrorized the wasteland, and Jacobstown suffered repeated reprisals from mutant-hating humans. In the end, the surviving mutants abandoned Jacobstown entirely, its existence quickly forgotten by the rest of the wasteland. The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the waste, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Prim Slim proves to be an able-minded, if not able-bodied, sheriff for Prim. And due to his slow speed, some crooks get away without a scratch. But Prim continues to prosper under his watchful robotic eye. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, Fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. That's a good closing line, in fact. Um... Are you gonna- Oh, there we go. Credits. Thought I was gonna bug out there or something. <laughs> Would've been awkward. <laughs> so, that was Fallout New Vegas then. I- I really get the impression that... Um... If you actually fully, you know, go explore everything you can and... You know, I- I pretty much stuck to the main storyline. I pretty much only did, yeah. Um, then those old, you know, that final cutscene would be like, what? 10, 15 minutes or something? Or longer? I really think so. I mean... I'm just looking at these quotes from these people. <laughs> um... Yeah, it just seems like it would just last forever, because, you know, you will have influenced so many things, and to be honest, like, a lot of that doesn't seem too bad. You know, sure, it, it's still the wasteland, so people are going to die, and, you know, there's going to be violence, but, um, yeah, that's just how things are. There's nothing you can really do about that. But I find it a bit weird, um... Well, I guess it's not too weird, but that in this, or my ending, um, basically, N New Vegas is its own, you know, independent state, I guess. And, you know, it seems united and everything, but there is still so much fighting going on locally that the followers are unhappy and un are unable to deal with it. I, I don't get how that works. I mean, sure, the followers can't do everything, and I, I bet if, you know, you actually, you know, get in touch with them and do quests for them, they can be a lot more powerful and help more people, but... 
Really? It, it's worse for them now than when the NCR and the Legion are fighting? Why? How does that work? Because the Legion just kills everyone so that they don't have anyone to help? Is that how that goes? That, that part didn't make sense to me, because, uh, yeah, it seems like, you know, sure, NCR still trying to get control and all, but, yeah, and people are trying to be independent. Yeah, sure, that still happens, but, you know, what do you want? Two major factions fighting or, you know, locals fighting? Locals are going to be, you know, less casualties there. So, yeah, that's, uh, I found that a bit curious. But it's a uh, pretty good game. I uh, I enjoyed it for sure. Um, I might even go uh, go around and you know go explore a little bit, do some, do some of those side quests uh, at some point. Um, and you know some eventual DLC that will come, other than that money, because that doesn't look fun to me. But uh, you know, it is it is a Fallout game. It will have downloadable content for what the next year. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> Casey Quark's quote for the win. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some good uh good humor in these. I really appreciate that. <laughs> so um yeah, it's it's a good game. Uh just the main storyline it felt a bit I don't know. Didn't flow as well as the, as, as the, I'd say original, but it's not. You know, Fallout 3. Um, that's that story. I think was better. Uh, they really try and step it up, but I don't think it really works that well. Uh, at least it didn't click so so well for me. But that may also be part of the, uh, you know, how the quests actually work. Like you here, there's ten quests you have to do now. Like what? Why? Why why have it like that? Yeah, I found that a bit uh, a bit strange there, but uh, yeah, I'm sure you know many people lo like or love New Vegas, so and I, I can see why. I can see why. It's uh, it's a really good game. And I really don't regret buying it at all. Um yeah, just there's some things that just go unexplained, which is uh, rather strange. Like there, was there any real karma system? You know, it gave me the negative or positive, um, you know, notifications. But is there even a, a karma system? I don't think so. It just seems to have been replaced by the faction system, which turned into everybody hates you. So yay, that's real helpful. So, you know, if I'm now going to load up my last, you know, heart save at the end of last set, then, you know, basically every faction hates me. So that's, that's gonna suck. Can't go to any town anymore. Or hardly any. So that's going to be a bit awkward. But, uh... Yeah. <laughs> so much to explore, though. And no, I'm not going to do that on camera because, you know, I might just play a couple of hours more, but I, I'm not really the type to go explore every single area. Fuck that. That's way too many. It's way too many. And, uh, yeah, though, though, thinking about it, I think I did put, like, what, uh, 50 hours into Fallout 3? I think I've only reached, what, 25 to 30? I think more like 25 in this. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm actually trying to think of which main storyline was lengthier. It was... I'd, I'd probably say Fallout 3s, but that's just because things are farther apart. Because New Vegas is a much smaller area. And it feels a lot more linear as well. It just really feels like a linear game with, you know, a map system. That's that's what Vegas feels like, to me at least. It doesn't have the open feel that Fallout 3 ha gave me. But maybe that's just because this is more like Fallout 3 
It may just be that fact. But it it felt like it had a bigger area and um yeah, I was not a real fan of the faction system. You know, sure, it can, it, it can work. I I can see that much, but um yeah, sometimes it just doesn't. Like no. If I have to fight NCR troops and I have an NCR companion with me, then yeah, what do you expect me to do? Get shot? Cuz he yeah, maybe I I'm still not sure if he was in fact attacking those or if he was attacking the legion troops way in the background, but um yeah, stuff like that is just awkward. Like what what do you want me to do? Just stand there and take it till, you know, somebody else kills them so I don't get the minus reputation? What then if you have a legion companion? Because I'm sure there is. There has to be, right? So then what? What do you do then? Fight neither faction? So that kind of screws over the ending then, doesn't it? Unless you specifically tell them to stay put, I guess, but... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, not a real fan of the companion system, I think. Um, seemed to work with Boone, sure. Uh, he, you know... A lot of extra damage is what you're getting, and a lot more storage space as well. But other than that... I don't know. I, I never really like having to control other characters, even if it's just inventory. Because who even likes inventory management? Nobody does. But, um... Yeah. You know, the, the actual tools it gives you for it are actually pretty good. It's really easy to manage their behavior and stuff. Just... You know, I, I can still picture Boone just trying to finish off a really weak enemy. And it just took him, like, what, 20 seconds to actually get a decent hit in to actually kill it? Because he kept switching weapons and moving in and out of melee range, and... It was just awkward. It was just awkward to watch. And, you know, maybe in some years that might work better, but... Yeah, that's just... You know, maybe I'm nitpicking. I probably am, but because it's 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 still a good game. Um, you know, there's a lot of enjoyable aspects to it. Definitely, the music also, even what's playing right now, is really good. You know, seeing the actual music credit go by there. <laughs> um, yeah, based on Fallout 3. No shit. It's Fallout 3 1.5, if even that. No, maybe it's more like 1.1, 1 .1, but... <laughs> uh, the same thing, though. You just Credits just keep going. They always keep going. That's just, uh, you know, the way things work nowadays. Everything gets outsourced. There's like 30 studios, you know, working on little parts of certain games. Yeah, you know, some get to uh, make some textures and some make other textures or sound recordings or what. Just so many outsourcing and that's why these credits have become so long. Remember when it was just a couple of names and that was it. The good old days, eh? <laughs> Though, you know, looking back, maybe that wasn't all that good. But yeah, things have changed, that's for sure. And to be honest... uh. I don't actually think it's been as buggy as Fallout 3 was. Um, though I'm sure there have just been loads of bugs that I just haven't really noticed or considered a bug. Maybe stuff even like that. Then if that's the case, that would be kind of funny actually. <laughs> Running into bugs without noticing, yeah. It could be, you know. Maybe I completely skipped over parts of certain quests by just talking to a guy or something. Could be, because, I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely the game where that would happen, if anywhere, so... <laughs> just endless list of names. <laughs> Michael Mean Son of a Bitch Snarf. What kind of nickname is that? 
Freaking childish, that's what. I, I do believe that after this, I will actually go look up how many companions there even are. Because, um... Yeah, I'm just curious, like... Clearly, you need to uh, have more than just you there at the end. Because that is ridiculously tough, if they all come at once. Just... How is... Well, I'm, I'm sure people do it at very, very hard, because people just know how to play these games very well, but... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm bad at them, I guess, but... I think I still do okay, but just that fight was ridiculous. Plus, you know, maybe if I did have a whole bunch of, uh, you know, those MF uh, ammo, maybe if I then grab my uh, prototype, and just blast away, I might just do a bit, you know, a bit of damage. I'm starting to yawn here. Freaking credits to take forever. <laughs> just going, you know, by one company, by one company. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, how long has this actually been? Like two hours? I think it's been kind of two hours. So two hours for the end. I guess that's okay. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say that it was probably really short, but nah, maybe it wasn't. Maybe. Well, th there were like a million doors everywhere, especially in that big open room. With the, uh, well, what looked like generators uh, in them. Where I also killed the, uh, what I think was a civilian. That room alone, I think, had, like, what, four other rooms that I, uh, four other doors or, li or, or lifts that I could take. So, yeah, there's so much more to that place. I bet there's some really good stuff in there. Actually, would there be stuff in there? Because you wouldn't be able to use it, I don't think. I think people specifically told me that it just doesn't create a save after you do this. Which is bad, in my opinion. That seems like a weird choice to make. And it doesn't even give you... You know, a hard save just before you, uh, you know, trigger the event to go to the dam. That also seems a bit weird to me because what if someone just quick saves and never hard saves? I do that a lot. I do that with a lot of games. Um, yeah. So that would mean that they would have to play the entire game over again just to see a different ending or something like that. That's, uh, or just even to continue playing that character at all. That's, that's quite horrible, in fact. New Vegas radio, eh? Never really listened. <laughs> Guess there were quite some, uh, some radio stations then. Oh no, it's even starting to loop the music. That's not a good sign. <laughs> that means your credits are too long, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and it's been cycling images for a while as well. The thing is, I don't want to leave it, you know, with only part of the credits, because that seems cheap. You know... Even if I don't specifically care too much about these uh, things, some other people might, and yeah, you know, I don't want to cut them short. Let them enjoy their uh, moment of glory. Now, I'm just not one of those people that just cares too much about the music in a game. 
Sure, I can say 